Hey everybody, I uh, did my little video about my content slowdown uh, yesterday during the uh, coronavirus lockdown and uh, one of my subscribers said, hey, what about the guitars? So I uh, thought about it and it's like, yeah, all right. My uh, room here is very small. It was one of the kids' bedrooms that just moved out recently. I put this stuff up. That same kid moved out a couple of years ago, and I did all this stuff that I'll show you. And uh, about when I got it all done, uh, I only moved back in. So I, I didn't get to use my guitar room for long at all. And as I'll show you here in a minute, uh, I'm not getting to use this, all of it right now either. So let's take a look around the room. Okay. Uh, a little look around the room here. Uh, there's the guitars. That thing there is actually a, a Rubbermaid deal uh, designed to hang stuff in your garage. The little hooks are to hang rakes and stuff like that. And I just thought it would work just fine for guitars, and I'll be doggone if it doesn't. Got my Red Hat and Mafia hat there. Thank you, Kenny Hill. Go Trump. And uh, these uh, graphics on the walls here. This is a painting my daughter Camilla did when she was 17. Uh, I always thought it looked like Jimi Hendrix, but uh, she entered that in the Kern County Fair in the junior division and won. The name of the photo is Emotions in Red and Black, and it's one of the favorite pieces that she's uh, done. So when she moved out, I asked her if I could keep that one, and she agreed. Captain Kurt and Mr. Spock, the Three Stooges, two of my favorite things, Star Trek and the Stooges. Uh, those paintings are by a uh, an artist who didn't have permission to uh, sell these things. And he didn't sell very many of them before they made him stop doing them. So those are, I don't know how rare they are, but I like them. Um... Something Camilla did for me when she was in high school in her graphics class. My favorite band of all time, Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. Rocking out there. Ariel did that one of Jimi Hendrix for me in one of her art classes. Uh, Courtney, my stepdaughter that was the last one to live in this room, made that for me in one of her graphics classes. A little music thing there. Got these goggles that Camilla sent me. She had was wearing a pair in one of her pictures, and I said, I want those goggles, and by golly, if she didn't get me some. I got the upside down Les Paul graphic on the wall. By the time I got that graphic, everything was filled up around here, and that was the only place it fit. So I have uh, an upside down Les Paul. Uh, and as you can see, this, as I said, half my room's taken up. They sent uh, Jennifer home from her job. She works in a call center, and she is now working from home. And uh, so as long as the uh, lockdown is in effect and they get people sent home, I won't be able to use that desk to do my writing and stuff with. <laughs> so I use that little stool right there to write on. Uh, that is uh, a blues song that I'm uh, writing. I haven't gotten around to uh, getting a whole lot of music put down to it yet. That is a song I wrote about losing my mom and how that felt. I've got it pasted up there because I'm uh, trying to memorize all the words and get the, I've got the music and everything put together. And uh, got the little painting of the XB70 with its chase plane, a B-58 Hustler. The XB70, I think, is the most bitching aircraft ever built. Got a... Uh, Got a uh, William Farnsworth print up there. Some B-17s. Some more Stooges stuff. Graphics. That cabinet right there is going to go to Courtney's house once it stops raining. I'll take that over there. Got the little plaque that the Tatch B Depot people gave me for doing my presentation on the tunnels up there. A little ashtray from Texas Barrel House. My mom's the last owner of that bar in Bakersfield. And uh, equipment, 
That is a crate, 120 watt amp. Uh, it's actually way more than I need for this room, but it sounds pretty good. I bought that one from uh, Guitar Center about five years ago for it was about 130 bucks. It was some used equipment stuff. And it's not a great amp, but it's good enough. That is a 60 watt crate. Originally, I had a 40 watt crate that I bought from Marty Neeson over at Front Porch Music when just after he left his front porch and opened his shop downtown. And uh, back in 78, 79, whenever it was, a long time ago. And it was actually one of the wood framed ones. It was all made out of wood. And that's why they called them crates. And uh, my buddy Mark Sr. really liked that. It was a 40 watt, as I think. Yeah, it was a 40 watt. This is a, the 60 watt. And Mark and I swapped. And after a while, I determined that I liked my 40 watt better. And uh, Mark was not amenable to trading us back. So. We played guitar together a lot back then, so I just used it his whenever I wanted to. I didn't want to argue with him about it. Uh, there's the foot switches that run that amp that uh, change things around on it. This is my Boss FX board. It's uh, I don't use it for nearly all the things it'll do. It's a very trick board. It, it does recordings. It does all kinds of stuff, but uh, I just use it for basics. It's a little more complicated than what I need anymore. All right, to the guitars. This guitar right here, this Les Paul copy without a brand name on it, I bought that in either 79 or 80 from Mark Sr., who still has my old amp. Probably, he's probably sold it by now, but... That was my first electric guitar, and uh, I paid $200 for it. A guy named Jerry Hartley bought it brand new in 1968. He said he paid $250 for it. Mark paid $200 for it from Jerry in about 75, I think. And then I bought it from Mark in uh, 79 or 80, as I said, for $200. And I have had the, I've had the neck refretted twice. Uh, that... Uh, the bridge pickup is a uh, DiMaggio. The, the uh, bridge, the I'm sorry, the neck pickup is a DiMaggio. The bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan, and uh, I just had this Seymour not just a few years ago had the Seymour Duncan put in it, had it all rewired, put had new knobs and everything, switches and all, everything, had it all rewired, all the electronics replaced except for the DiMaggio, and that guitar. Uh, Already said he believes it is an Ibanez, and uh, I don't know, but it plays. I've played Les Pauls before. It plays just like one. It doesn't have, as you can see, it, oh, it's heavy as hell, too. It has a bolt-on neck. Les Pauls are solid. They don't have bolt-on necks, but it's a really cool guitar. Sounds good. Plays well. It's a fun guitar to play. Uh, the next oldest guitar I have is this one. This is an F310 12 string. I bought this in either 87 or 88. I think it was 87. I bought this directly from Fender. I didn't buy it from a guitar shop. Saved myself uh, some money doing that. And I took it over to Gene Moles, who was a, one of the preeminent guitar guys here in Bakersfield, and actually in this whole area back then. And he set the action on it for me and put a ceramic pickup in it. Uh, I should have had a volume knob put in that. I don't know why Gene didn't put one in there, but he didn't. And uh, he, I've only played it a few times uh, where I had it plugged into an amp. And uh, you got to kind of, it feeds back real easy, but it's a beautiful sounding guitar. I don't play it very often. I, 12 strings are more, in my opinion, and my playing abilities and style is more an accompaniment. And accompaniment, a I feel like Porky Pig, an accompaniment instrument, but it does sound really cool. And and uh, see, the next oldest one would be this one right here, my Strat. This is a Fat Strat called Fat Strats because it has a humbucker in the back instead of a single coil like that one there. And these are uh, made in Mexico. Uh, people piss and moan about that but this has been a really really good guitar it plays really well uh it sounds great 
I, it's probably my favorite guitar, my favorite electric guitar to play. And uh, my ex-wife Bev bought me that for Christmas, I think in 2004. Then uh, I bought this guitar here, this Ibanez. It is a semi-hollow. I can't remember the exact uh, model number of it, but I bought that in 2005, I think. I uh, bought that from Guitar Center. And uh, I don't play that one all that often, but it's a really sweet sounding guitar. And you talk about an easy guitar to play uh, right now. It, I put I, I usually string that with 12s and uh, <laughs> the uh, B and the E have broken and I replaced them uh, with strings from a set of 10. So it sounds a little twangier than I like that guitar to sound, but it has a really, really sweet, soft sound. As you can see, it actually has a, a bridge made out of spruce and it really really softens the sound of the guitar and it's got really mellow pickups and, and you can throw distortion to it and it <laughs> it sounds pretty cool but that's not what it's more of a jazzy kind of a guitar uh, got my capo on there that i use on some songs and then uh this is my newest guitar i've had it for i don't know I've had this for maybe five years. It is a Taylor 214E the, with the cutout, and it's a great guitar. I don't know what's up with that light, uh, where it's, the wood's lightening up on that. Uh, doesn't seem to affect the sound of it. I was going to get hold of Taylor and see if they had any suggestions. Uh, it doesn't affect the guitar. That is the guitar I play most of the time here at home, and if I go to uh, little jam sessions with friends and little hoedowns and what, that's generally the guitar I take and it uh, has a really nice sound to it. And I bought that one from Guitar Center as well. That guitar isn't really mine. That is a Squire Strat that belongs to Courtney and uh, my stepdaughter. She bought it, wanted to start playing guitar and never really followed through with it. So I've just got it hanging in here. I played that guitar when she first got it, I don't think I've played it since. It's you know, Squires are good little guitars. They cost a couple hundred bucks. They're good entry-level guitars. If you're thinking about uh, learning how to play a guitar and want to get an electric, I recommend one of these. They're... But anyway, let's uh, see what a couple of these things sound like. Okay, this is uh, my Les Paul copy that I bought from Mark. <laughs> things to start to play and play. But that's what this one sounds like. Okay, this is the Fat Strat. Really sweet sounding guitar too. All my guitars are sweet sounding. But uh, like I said, this one is a really cool guitar to play. Let's see if we can't whip something up here.
strats. They've got that little higher screamier, screechier sound, but you can give them some balls. But uh, nice guitar, uh, sounds really good. Uh, it's, it's lighter, a lot lighter than that one. Uh, if you're playing for a long time, it makes a big difference. Uh, I don't know how so I guess you get used to having a big Les Paul strung around your neck for a long time if you play in you know, concerts and stuff, but that thing always wore my shoulder out. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. This is the uh, Ibanez. This is a AK-85 DVS. Okay. It's uh, got a real sweet sound to it. something like that some other time but uh, anyway it's a really sweet sounding guitar super easy to play too uh, gotta get some twelves back on it'll sound even better and uh, something I forgot to mention a while ago is I got these uh, little wireless things with some plugs in the guitar got them look, looks just like it plugs into the amp and, and they say they're good for about a hundred feet I'll never get that far away from my amp with these inside this room I, but they work really well uh, they're not noisy and uh, I really like them glad I bought them they only cost me about 50 bucks I think 50 60 bucks they were pretty cheap all right Okay, uh, this is the uh, Fender 12 string, uh, beautiful guitar, uh, it's all dusty, uh, I don't play it very often, I rarely play it, I'm still glad I bought it even though uh, when I first, the first couple of years I had it, I, I used it a lot, I was playing with a lot of other musicians at the time, and, and uh, but since I just generally accompany myself anymore, I rarely ever get this out, uh, I try to play it every once in a while, the, so the frets don't start popping up and folding out on me. guitar. Is it that obvious that I don't play very often? But nice guitar. On to the next one. Alright, this is my six string Taylor. My 214 CE. I don't know why I can never remember that. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, planning on getting another acoustic guitar, another six string in the very near future. And I haven't made up my mind yet if I'm going to go with uh, maybe a Taylor 414 or one of the Martins. Um, the Taylors are less expensive, but they still play really well. They still sound really well. They still sound really good, but man, Martins are, whew, they're like playing chocolate bars. They're so nice, but you pay for that. You pay for that. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see if I'm, see if I'm able to pull the trigger on that here whenever I get ready to buy my next guitar. But I really like this guitar. Uh, I got a really good deal on it. I bought it from Guitar Center and, uh, I got it with a hard case and everything for a little under $800. Uh, it's about $1,100 guitar at Guitar Center. Uh, they're, they're not inexpensive. 
text message or an email. From the time Nice guitar. Little piece of that song I'm writing for mom that it's hang, hanging on the air conditioner there. Kind of starts out like this. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll put that up one of these days. I gotta get to the point where I can get through singing it without crying. But uh, I love this guitar. I love my guitars. I don't play as much as I should during this lockdown. I've actually been playing uh, quite a bit more, writing some songs and. Uh, uh, maybe I'll put some of those songs up uh, as I, I was going to say as I get time. I got plenty of time as I get the uh, courage. But anyway, that is a tour of my guitars. I'm not going to play the Squire. I, have, I haven't played that in years. It's probably not in tune. It probably needs new strings. I'm going to mess with it. But uh, anyway, that is a tour of my little music room. This is also where I do my history. This is where I shoot any, now that I've got the room, I shoot any uh, YouTubes that I'm not shooting outside. I'll shoot in here. Uh, hanging out with uh, the family, staying away from the 19. And I hope you all are doing the same. Stay healthy, stay safe. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, as usual, shoot me an email motopullet59 at gmail.com and remember to click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content and uh, everybody have a great rest of the lockdown and we'll see y'all later take care